Hey, welcome back to The Great Review. Uh, today we're going to be looking at some fishing lures that I really enjoy using. And I want to just, you know, remind you guys, go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit the notification button there. Uh, that obviously helps support the channel. Um, I look forward to continuously adding more content all around different types of products. Uh, stuff that I use, stuff that I like. Uh, so for today, like I mentioned, I'm looking at the fishing lures, uh, as you can tell by the thumbnail, that peacock bass is something I've actually fished using uh, one of these, and I just want to go ahead and uh, show you. Uh, additionally, I will be providing a link in the description to each one of these items on Amazon, um, and then I'll give you a couple little pieces of uh, feedback on each one of them. All right, let's get started. So first up, we have the Terminator. It's a uh, jig set up for um, fishing. Uh, you'll notice it has a pretty lengthy skirt on it. I haven't opened this one up. Uh, it's a quarter inch. Uh, the hook is a nice size on it. Um, I'll actually open it up so that I can show you the lure. All right, there's the lure. Um, hopefully you get a nice close up. Uh, you'll notice the colorization on it is blue and dark. I like that. I think that the color on it, plus the combination with the trailer that I use, uh, helps uh, create a, uh, a very nice presentation. And it's worked really well. I've been able to capture different types of fishes that way. Uh, as you'll notice, there's a couple things that uh, I wanted to point out. So it has a weed guard. Uh, as you can see, it's this black plastic here. Um, it works. Obviously, if you get stuck in a rock, uh, that really won't help you. But for the most part, it keeps the weeds and the debris from getting caught on your uh, fishing hook. Um, at the base of it, you see it has this little noiser, which helps create some kind of like a attraction for the fish. Uh, finally, you have the head of the jig here. And as you can see, the hole on this is not that sizable, especially depending on the line that you're using. Uh, so if you're trying to do a polymers knot, uh, I recommend sliding the line in one time through the opening and then bringing it back around and sliding it back in the opposite way. And that allows you to get that set up for the polymers knot. Uh, all right, so this is a chatterbait. It's a Z-Man chatterbait. As you can see, it's a, a half ounce setup. Take it out so we can actually view it. Hopefully I don't get the hook in my hand, which would not be fun. So as you can tell, it's a traditional chatterbait. It has the metal piece at the top, which creates enough of a, uh, of a commotion that it easily attracts fish. Uh, again, the skirt's not too long, it has nice little colorization to it, and it has a pretty sizable eye eyelet. This makes it easier for when you're doing your knots, whether it's a polymer knot or any other kind of uh, line setup that you do. Um, these work really well. Uh, again, there's nothing really safeguarding the hook itself from getting caught up in uh, weeds. Uh, so you have to be careful you don't get caught up in uh, uh, underbrush or any kind of like uh, uh, submerged items like logs or rocks because once you hook into something like that, it's a real, real pain getting it out. But this is a chatterbait. And uh, like I mentioned, I've been able to capture everything from small mouth, um, from largemouth to peacock bass. 
uh, where I'm at and it's worked really well. All right, here we have the Booyah. It is the uh, Booyah Pond Magic. It's a 316 ounce uh, setup. This is a spinner bait. It's really fun to use these. Um, I think they have a really good setup. I think it really attracts the fish uh, pretty well. Um, this one I don't have open, so I'm gonna open it and I'll show you the, uh, the item itself. All right, now that I do have it out of the packaging, uh, so you'll see it's a standard jig, uh, spinning jig setup. It has these two little flappy things that make a, enough commotion to attract fish. Um, it's a nice little setup here. A nice little skirt. The skirt's pretty even with the hook. It doesn't exceed the hook too much. And I've seen people trim the skirts. Um, I haven't tried that yet, but I can tell you for a fact this will catch um, either peacock bass, if that's what you're fishing for, uh, largemouth bass, or pretty much any of those kind of bass, uh, any kind of bass or any kind of other fish. Um, it's good, they like it. They, they, they get very aggressive. You'll, you can easily tell that when uh, it comes around them, it gets them uh, really active. Uh, and aggressive and I've been able to pull some really sizable uh, fish with this uh, lure right here it's a perfect lure when you don't have um, and probably my favorite lure when you don't have live bait and that is the spinner bait and this particular model is called the Booyah Pond Magic Bait all right, that was the review of the three uh, uh, lures that I like using. As I started with the regular jig with the skirt, um, the spinner, the spinner bait with the skirt as well, and the chatter bait. Three wonderful, awesome lures for uh, bass fishing specifically. If you enjoy fishing uh, peacock bass. Um, and then, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you do need a trail, uh, a trailer on it. Uh, so I bought these. Uh, you can get them also from Amazon, and I'll provide a link for the particular um, one that I bought, which comes in three different colors, uh, a yellow like this fluorescent yellow, a fluorescent orange, and a fluorescent green. Um, they have, they have really little nice tail set up to them. They're actually quite fun too if you want to just fish with them. Um, if you're not using one of these kind of lures and you just want to use this, this also does a really decent job at picking up any kind of uh, uh, fish that you're going for. Uh, again, specifically I go for bass. So I've found a lot of success with this. I find that in most uh, in most cases you want to have this with this it creates an ideal setup and i'm going to attach this to the lure i'll show you what it looks like when it's attached to the lure so you get a sense of the right setup now that i've finished attaching the trailer on it i just wanted to show you what it looks like with that trailer attached the whole idea of the trailer is that it adds that extra level of movement that fish are looking for, especially when they're uh, uh, feeding or they're hunting. Um, again, I find that this elevates the success rate on the uh, jig itself. Uh, you can obviously fish without the trailer on the end, but I highly recommend you add it. Uh, it's also worth noting that here in Florida, we also have a lot of different uh, aquatic animals, uh, specifically turtles. Turtles like these. So if your intention is not to be a <laughs> fishing turtle, I'd recommend just keeping an eye on what's pursuing your lure. Um, I tend to keep mine pretty uh, close to the top of the water. Um, I try not to let it sink too deep. 
And then I also am monitoring what's following it and what's trailing behind it. Um, but yeah, these are great lures. I highly recommend any of these three right here will definitely produce the results you're looking for and capturing more fish. Hopefully you like this content. And again, take the moment, like the video, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so that whenever I deliver new content, you'll be the first to know. All right. Awesome. Thank you.